currently at this time, let's bring in our meteorologist, Eric Tallman, uh, and he's actually standing by the weather desk right now saying that we're under a severe thunderstorm watch for southeast Michigan until 10 p.m. Eric? Yes, we're under that severe thunderstorm watch until 10 p.m. tonight, um, and that includes all of us in southeast Florida, Michigan, but it has been very busy on Twitter today. I'm going to tell you that right now. A lot of action has been happening, and we're going to tell you uh, mainly what's really uh, going on here right now. Um, you can actually see right now we have showers and uh, thunderstorms beginning to uh, erupt here. Um, and that is going to continue for the next couple of hours here. We still have a couple of hours to go yet because that watch is still in effect until 10 p.m. for all of us in southeast lower Michigan. Uh, we don't have any tornado warnings or anything like that to be concerned about. Um, but, y y you know, kind of stay alert because we could be getting warnings anytime now. But I'm more concerned about the damaging wind threat with the 70 per hour winds and maybe straight line winds as well. And maybe a possible tornado or two uh, cannot be ruled out with any of these storms. So uh, we're going to figure out exactly where we are right now. We have the showers and thunderstorms that are developing way over here. You can just see they're just marching on through uh, southeast lower Michigan. And they're moving about 50 miles per hour uh, to the northeast. So these storms that do develop are going to be moving quite fast. So uh, just be prepared. So um, if you see lightning or thunder, um, you know, make sure that you take shelter immediately and play it safe and get to the lowest level of your home um, because uh, strongness of your thunderstorms can produce uh, tornadoes. So uh, we haven't really seen any of that. Um, but I'm just giving you a heads up. That's something that you really need to keep a very close eye on. So once we start seeing warnings, um, that could happen any time. Um, so it is um, um, 8.20 p.m. currently right now, and you can see things are getting a lot more active than what they were earlier this afternoon when the showers and storms began to erupt across uh, the metro area. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see what's going on for yourself. Um, so you can see that the storms are coming. Um, they're just taking um, a while to uh, get themselves together. So um, as this thing continues to update, um, we'll let you know. But after uh, we're done with the severe weather, uh, then we have the uh, colder air that is going to return to southeast lower Michigan, so it's not going to feel as warm as it has been um, in southeast Michigan. You're going to have to get the winter gear out again and the winter jackets and hats and mittens, and uh, we'll play it by ear. But until that time, we'll have to deal with the showers and storms. So, um, like I said before, some of the storms that do uh, impact us this evening could be kind of rough and strong and severe at times. So kind of be alert. So if you're under a, a warning, make sure that you take cover immediately and act fast when the warnings come in. Um, so we'll continue to keep you posted. And um, I think our last update would be... Um, 45 at 9 o'clock is probably going to be the ending time. Um, unless things get more active, um, we'll let you know about that as well. So, um, a lot of active uh, activity going on right now that we really have to focus in on. Uh, it's not really in Oakland or Macomb County at all, um, it's just racing across um, Lansing, the Lansing area right now. Um, you guys have had some rain that you've been containing with, but you haven't really seen that batch of uh, stronger storms that are just moving on through. So we're going to give it uh, about an hour or so and see what the storms are going to do. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see uh, what's going on. We're probably going to be on the air for a little bit here so you can uh, kind of see all this action that's happening. There you go. Now all the viewers can see what's happening. Okay, so you can see um, that the showers and thunderstorms are doing what they're supposed to be doing, but we're just waiting to see if more of them are going to start uh, to increase and intensify. We haven't seen a lot of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings. We did have 
um, severe thunderstorm warnings earlier in the afternoon um, for Macomb County and southern Macomb County as well. Um, and that was around 4, 4.30 this afternoon, and that's finally done and over with. And since that time, things have been on the quiet side for most of us. Not all of us, but for some of us. But for us in Macomb and Oakland, you guys are fine for now, but um, eyes and ears are watching. So as we get into the next couple of hours, they're going to be kind of rough. Um, but by the time we get into midnight, um, all this... Um, is going to be out of here and into Ontario, Canada. Um, we're actually going to turn uh, gears here and we're going to uh, focus in on what's going on over there. I think this thing is updating. Um, give me one second. I have to go back here um, and see what's going on here because I think the thing just updated. I'm not quite sure, but I am paying attention to what's going on. Ann Arbor, you don't have anything going on over there for you. Uh, Livonia, Taylor, Warren area, you don't have anything going on right now, um, but this big batch of storms that are coming through, um, I would probably say Jackson, you need to be on the lookout for that. Um, Ann Arbor, Detroit area, and the surrounding areas around there, um, you need to be on guard for possible strong to severe storms moving your way as well. Uh, they're moving through the Jackson area currently at this time, um, but they're not anywhere near the Ann Arbor, Detroit area right now, but uh, we're watching this, and if these storms continue to um, intensify, we're probably going to have a big situation uh, that we're going to have to continue to watch. So the storms are going to continue to be monitored closely for the remainder of the next couple of hours, and then we will let you know when all of this dies down when we're going to see uh, some clearing out of this, um, and when we're going to see sunshine again, I'll have that question for you in your extended forecast, uh, probably later on in the show, um, but uh, it has been put on delay because of uh, the severe uh, potential and that severe weather watch uh, that we're waiting uh, for. Uh, so, um, anyway, before we end this thing, just to let everyone know, just to be alert, stay alert, uh, play it safe. If you're going to be out and about, make sure that you know what to do if you're under a, a, a severe thunderstorm warning, tornado warning, whatever happens, just be prepared. You don't want to be riding out any of these storms uh, because they possibly could pack a punch, and you don't want to be in that kind of a nasty situation. So kind of play it safe. Uh, use your weather uh, radios. Uh, if you have a weather app on your phone, um, use that to receive the warnings and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Uh, I just went to screensaver. Uh, give me one second. We'll be right back. It is going to update the uh, computer models, the radar, I mean, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Okay, let's get back over to meteorologist Eric Tolman that's actually in the Weather Center saying that we're under a severe thunderstorm watch until 10 p.m. What can people expect with these storms that are going to be rolling on through? What do they need to do? Because I can see just by looking at the radar, it's just exploding now. And yeah, I, I think this is going to be the most active time. Um, so, like I said... Uh, generally, a lot of the areas across southeast Michigan could start seeing thunderstorms uh, at any time, um, you know, even though they're not in the surrounding areas right now, does not mean that it could pop up at any time, but we're just giving you a heads up that this potentially is something that we're watching very closely, so kind of stay tuned with us, and we'll uh, keep you advised of what's going on, and uh, we're going to zoom in here and uh, show you what's going on right now. Uh, there is actually a line of showers and thunderstorms that are moving through the Jackson area, um, so if you live over in Jackson, you have some uh, showers and maybe some thunderstorms. It looks like a line of uh, thunderstorms uh, that are moving in your area. So all of this stuff is moving towards the north, east about 50 miles per hour. So this storm, the storms are actually moving quite fast. 
at a good rate. I can tell you that right now. So that's really keeping things hopping here. Um, so we are starting to see that showers and thunderstorms are now beginning to increase across um, the viewing area. So as we go into the next several hours, things are probably going to get widely more intense. And the radar just updated uh, just now. Uh, so uh, let's see what we've got going on here right now. We might be uh, monitoring this probably uh, for a while, obviously. Um, so I'm trying to get a glimpse of it. Hold on one second. So uh, the Jackson area, you have showers and thunderstorms that are moving through your area right now. And you can see just behind that, um, over in the Battle Creek area, you have showers and storms that are moving on through thunderstorms are developing we have another cluster of showers and storms that are developing so uh, I you, you know it, it is just really really getting really more and more interesting as we get into the later parts of the evening so like I said some of these storms that do move in the metro area are going to be quite rough so you kind of want to take it uh, nice and slow if you're going to be driving as well Oh, and there's something that just popped up that we did not even see. Uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in if we can. Uh, thank you very much. You can see that we have this little cluster of uh, thunderstorm activity that's beginning to develop here. Um, so we're watching that. And then there are other bigger clusters of showers and storms that are also developing as well. Um, so a lot of action is happening. So people in the Jackson area just look out because you have showers and storms that are developing and watching that little cluster of thunderstorms that are beginning to develop. We'll kind of watch that and see if that's going to um, um, intensify or maybe line up. But generally, um, we're, we're just watching all of this stuff expand. So all of this stuff, it does seem to be that all of this activity is going to be widespread, a lot of action, a lot of uh, moisture with it, um, and all the ingredients are, um, y you know, we have the ingredients in everything to make uh, uh, the storms happen. Uh, so it's quite active right now, you can see. I, so we're just going to go over this real quick and then I'll have another update um, between 8.45, 9.15 and then we'll know more. Um, so uh, for most of the um, area like in Macomb, Oakland area, most of you guys are uh, in, on the quiet side uh, currently right now. But uh, showers and thunderstorms will continue to increase and... Um, like I said, some of them could be quite strong to severe, so that's uh, generally the concern with uh, damaging winds up 70 miles per hour. I repeat, if you did not hear that, damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour with large hail, one inch in diameter, and maybe a few tornadoes. We haven't really seen any tornado reports or gotten any tornado warnings, so that's actually a plus right there, but uh, we can't rule out a tornado or two um, as these uh, storms continue to intensify and uh, increase throughout the evening. So um, this was the action that we were talking about, and this is round two, um, so kind of stay tuned. If we get any warnings that do come into us, we will let you know right away. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you as soon as we get more updates.